Aloha. I'm Sean Kalipone, and I want to show you the top 20 things to do and eat here in Kaneohe. This is the ultimate guide to the city I was born and raised in. Kaneohe has great food, hikes, attractions, and arguably the most beautiful mountains in the world. Are you ready to go on this adventure? But before we go on this adventure, do you want to eat first? Because I'm hungry. Okay, that makes both of us. Let's go. Good morning. We are here at the Kanyohe Pancake House. And this place has served the Kanyohe community since I was five years old when the first Ninja Turtle movies came out. My parents have took me here growing up. This place has nostalgia within the Kanyohe community and let's go check it out. You might want to know that this is the parking area. It's a little small, but there is street parking on the outside and it's not too bad. Hello. Hi. Hello. All right, just, just for one piece. I ordered the short stack of the strawberry waffles and cream, the egg benedict, the meat lover's omelet. Well, you can't see the meat inside, but uh, I will show you guys. I can't have this all by myself, so I'm gonna ask you guys to join me for this. There's no really clean way to eat this. Doesn't look too pretty on camera, but I'll tell you right now, I've had this before over here and it's pretty darn good. This is a pure indulgence. Look at this soft, fluffy pancake here. Mm. It has all the butter with whipped cream and the strawberries are fresh. I wouldn't mind eating this more and more, but I do have to try the ubi pancakes over here. I tried the ones at Countryside Cafe. That was really good. I did not expect this at all. Now the next item that's up is the ube pancakes with the ube butter. They actually make the pancakes out of ube. I need to spread this ube butter. Wow. Let's eat this up. Look at all this ube. Ready? Go. They did not hold back on any part of this pancake. It is ube rich all over. So next up is the Eggs Benedict. That is a combination of it being thick, creamy, silky, rich on the inside, crispy bagel on the outside. I am delighted. More than delighted, actually. Bon appetit. It tasted as good as it looks. I did not expect it to be this good. And our last dish for round one the meat lover's omelet. It doesn't look like much on the outside, and we're gonna explore on the inside. I like how they put so much detail in every small little piece of bacon. They made it to this omelet with the cheese and everything was glowing. It's a big portion. So good, it's meaty, it's tasty. Are you guys ready for round two? Let's go. So I have the K-Town Local Moco. It's their special. K-Town, I'm assuming because we're in Kanyohe City. It has kimchi fried rice, boneless short ribs, eggs with gravy. I'm gonna dive right into this. I cut open. Look at this just seeping right through. This looks crazy good. I, I, I might get a little messy with this, so forgive me. Those short ribs were so tender and juicy and it melted right in my mouth. Wow. Now I wanna try some of this with the kimchi now. I'm gonna have some of this gravy here with the rice. I gotta say that this is the most special thing I've eaten on this menu. It is like the 4th of July fireworks, all right here. And this is 
something I definitely recommend you to get, the K-Town Local Vocal. You get traditional good food with a twist, and that's what they have here. I recommend you to come here, and off to the next place. I'm here at the Whiskey Smoke 808. It's a brand new location in Kanyohe. This used to be Fresh Catch where it's at, but now it's a little bit down the road and they turned it into a restaurant. And this road is crazy. I mean, you got Adela's right there. You know, we did a video on that too. So I know you're gonna watch it if you haven't after you watch this video and all the other videos. Let's go check it out. Oh, I could smell it. That is, I'll tell you right now, it smells really good. This is my smoked whiskey deluxe with garlic parmesan fries. And this came out to approximately $20 total. This thing is reeking right from here through my nostrils. It looks very good, but small. Let's dive in. Mm. Patties are juicy. Everything is grilled and all the whiskey sauce. Pretty darn good and it's worth it. Small in size, big in taste, lots of cheese and buttered. I have some of the fries right here too. Garlicky, crisp, delicious. I got smoked chicken wings with guava. I'm gonna take a bite right from here. Let's eat. It's kind of crazy because it's tender, crisp, grilled, and all that good stuff all together with the hint of guava. Smoked and fried chicken wings, and we gave you some ribs as well to try out. Ooh. Well, I can't wait. Thank you, thank you, appreciate it. I got some St. Louis ribs right here on the house. I don't need no knife. My teeth are my knife. And I'm gonna bite right through this thing. That is perfect ribs. These are the best ribs I've tasted. It's just amazing and it's tender too. I think this is like one of the few times I forgot where I was when I was vlogging. Wow. They have the pumpkin halpia crunch, which I really wanted for dessert, but they sold out. But in the meantime, I got some banana pudding. So this thing is a winner right here, and I love the vanilla wafer, I love the whipped cream, the banana, the tapioca, and they put a lot of attention to detail, which I could really appreciate. And would I recommend you coming here? Yes. Kanyohe got a lot of good grinds, and I'm proud to say, this is where I was born and raised, and I'm born and raised by great food. I'll catch you at the next area. Kahana Bay is a little outside of Kanyohe, but I still included it in this video. Here we are at the Kahana Bay. Parking is right here. It's a nice park. There's tables for us to sit, chill and relax. The beach is quite relaxing too. Ni and I like to come here to relax, to chill. We've actually done a video where we ate here at the park from the Kaya store and if we've done a hard hike, maybe like the Crouching Lion or just a far drive to North Shore and on the way back, we want to relax, we come here. A place I would recommend to stop by and check it out. Since you are here, it's only a two minute drive away from the Crouching Lion hike. The views are breathtaking, but the hike can be tricky for first timers. We have a full video on this. Watch our full video before coming here. Okay, so I am here at the Crouching Lion right now. You can go way more up, but that's a difficult area. I think I'll just stick to the more moderate. I like to tell people about Hidden Gems. They have a really good shave ice place right here, right past the Kualoa Ranch. They're called the Coconut Growing Guys. They sell coconuts and shave ice, and we're gonna go check it out. Hello. Aloha, welcome. Aloha. Thank you for some shave ice or 
Yes, looking for some shave ice for sure. Take a look at this. This is kind of cute. That is crazy. So, shave ice in a coconut with the ubi condensed milk and coconut whipped cream. Because I put it with the coconut and I got the condensed milk and the coconut whipped cream, it all came out to 23 bucks. But there are more affordable shave ices like the one I had last time and it was huge still, but I just never got it fancy with the coconut. Mango popping, coconut supreme, are you kidding me? Coconut girl special? Wow. And they have shave ice in a coconut? <laughs> that is pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's dive in. Oh, where do I start? Okay. I'm gonna get some of the shave ice over here. Bam. Mm, mm, mm. See, this is not just whipped cream, it's coconut whipped cream, and that's pretty dense. And the shave ice is nice, soft, and smooth. Oh, don't mind my teeth. I think it's stained right now with all this thick ube drizzle of condensed milk, which I took the ube for two bucks. After I've eaten this delicious shave ice, the thing about getting it with the coconut, you could dig it in from the inside and eat the coconut piece. That's freaking awesome. Mm -hmm. mm. They're so friendly over here. I got a coconut and it looks so fresh and cold. It's the only shave ice place I know on this side of the island, it's a good shave ice place. I recommend you to come here. I'm gonna go finish this and I'll see you guys in the next one. One of the reasons I like to revisit places a couple years later, even though we did a video on it, is that maybe the price of admission has changed. So let's find out. Adult and teens are $5, seniors 65 and up is $4, and children 2 to 12 are $2. And here it is. This is the exact replica of the 950 year old Byonin Temple in Uji, Japan. This is beautiful. Supposed to bring happiness and blessings, so we'll see. Nothing but peace and tranquility here. Sometimes you just need to escape from everything in life. Woo! Yeah. How you doing? Happy fun. Aloha, guys. Bring her yeah. I love being our viewers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thanks, thanks, guys. Yeah, I appreciate you watching. We have the koi pond right here, and this is where you can feed the fish. They sell fish food right here in the temple, and we're gonna go get some. Ooh, some gift cards. This is what I would get. Fish. This costs two dollars, and we get to see all the fish go crazy. Go feed our friends here. Oh, a snapping turtle. Whoa, look at you. Wow, there he is. There, there he is. That is the first. I think I've been here over 50 times. I've never seen a snapping turtle. Look at my friend right here. Hello. I only like you guys. YouTube's of you before we got here. <laughs> oh, well, I appreciate you guys watching it. It means a lot to me. So you learn something new every time you come here. I learned two new things. I learned that they have snapping turtles here, a place right outside the gift shop that you could buy drinks and some desserts from. You get pineapple, sugarcane juice. You have all this. The sugarcane apple juice costs $10. A little pricey, but uh, why not? You're here in this beautiful temple and you're probably on vacation, so. Enjoy. And this is the coconut tapioca with uh, mango slices. Mm. I definitely recommend you gain this over the sugar cane. I'm happy 
And I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you guys in the next place. The Koala Ranch is the reason why most visitors come to Kanyohe. It's one of the most popular Oahu attractions. A lot of movies were filmed here, whether it was Jurassic World, Jumanji, Godzilla, and more. There's many beautiful mountains here. It's a big open area and you'll see for yourself when we go in. There are many adventures in one place, such as horseback riding, ATV tours, zip lines, and movie site visits. My wife and I had a great time during the Hollywood movie tour and the ATV two hour raptor tour. Let's go. We have a video on this. And we have our friends from Sacramento here. Woo! The mainland. <laughs> We're going to be at the Waihole Poi Factory. I covered this place before, but only briefly. They call this the Sweet Lady Waihole Ice Cream because it's named after a lady in the 1900s. Now we have the Kanaka Nui plate. The Kanaka Nui plate was everything all together. My plate has finally came up, so let's go grab it. Thank you. We're gonna eat this right now because I don't want this to melt. And this is the Tahitian lady. I know that there's banana and tapioca inside here. It's hot just like how the Kololo would be, with the sweet lady of Waihole. And they give a lot too, which I really appreciate. Mm. And this location is the Kulo Beach Park. It's right by the Kulo Ranch. If you ever notice in our videos that I eat here quite often because I love the view of Chinaman's Hat, I want to show you guys the secret beach after. The reality of it is, nothing's a secret on Oahu, okay? Everything has been pretty much revealed, so I'm gonna show it to you guys, but that's what they call it, it's Secret Beach. The Kanaka Nui plate is a little bit of everything from Hawaiian food. Hapia dessert. And here is the poi. It is taro pounded. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of poi, I can tell what good poi is. It's something I recommend for everyone to try when they come here. This is Nomi salmon. It is salmon mixed with onions and tomatoes. The beef luau is fresh, it's mushy, and it'll go really good with the lomi salmon. We have the lao lao. It is kalua pork wrapped in taro leaf. They're really reasonable. The food quality is amazing. I did promise you guys I'll show you the secret beach, so let's go. The Koalao Beach Park is located next to the famous Koalao Ranch, and there's a secret beach here. Okay, so the secret beach is down there in the corner. Right there is all of Kulo Beach Park for the entrance with the mountains. You got that? Let's go check it out. And here we are at the Seeker Beach. Look at the waters, look at outside the mountain view. Chinaman's hat right in the corner. And it is beautiful. Kulo Beach Park is also famous for its view of the Mokoli'i Island, Chinaman's hat. Speaking of Chinaman's Hat, you can actually kayak to the island that hikes to the top for breathtaking views. Everything that's awesome usually isn't easy. The Chinaman's Hat hike takes about 20 minutes. Although it's fun, it's quite steep and probably more challenging than you might expect. So keep that in mind. The whole cool little range to myself. In the next space, we're going to the Macadamia Farm Outlet. Let's check it out. I come here all the time when I pass by because they have some free samples, but I do pick up some food to eat because I would feel kind of bad if I just only ate the samples. I love the snowball cookies here. Even though it's not the same quality as the ones I ate on top of Chinaman's Hat, which I'm sure you guys saw that video, it's still really good, but everything else over here is still really awesome. some fresh coffee right now. Free samples. <sighs> Cinnamon glazed macadamia nut. Mm. 
Man, they're really playing to the tourists, but uh, they're playing to us locals too. I had to come over here and check out the chicken. I mean, you can see it on the side of the road. It's right before the macadamia nut farm. I gotta have some. I gotta try it out. Look at that. Whoo! That is amazing. And it smells good too. Check this out. And Henry, he makes all the chicken here. Nice style. Filipino. Filipino. Style. Filipino style. Oh, Henry says it's Filipino style. So I never had chicken Filipino style. And now I'm curious, so I gotta have me some. I'm gonna get me the huli huli chicken plate because that chicken looked really good outside. Yes, may I have this uh, huli huli chicken plate, please? I think I roll up my sleeves on this one. This is the huli huli chicken plate for $15.95. You see that steam? Oh my. Now, let's dive in and see how good it tastes. Man, they just have everything packed into this chicken. And this is how the way it's supposed to taste, okay? This nice, thick, creamy mac salad with the soft rice and the huli huli chicken all go well together. I'm actually kicking myself for not knowing about this place earlier. I think I'll be coming here a whole lot more now. I think I'm gonna finish this right now, so I'll see you guys in the next place. Here I am at Hei'ia Elementary School. And I figured since you guys made it halfway through the video, I was born and raised here in Kanyohe, I could tell you story time. The reason why I wanted to give you guys story time is because when I see some of our subscribers, they ask me, how do you stay slim with all the food you eat? I was a fat kid growing up. And I had a huge stuttering problem. And I remember one kid, he made fun of me and called me Porky Pig. I didn't appreciate that, it hurt my feelings, so I ended up punching him in his face. And then the principal called my mom. All I kept thinking about was the back scratcher and the slipper that she was gonna hit me with. Because when I was growing up, that's how parents disciplined their kids here. She told me, do not hit anyone, it's not right, you only do it in self-defense. No violence, walk away. And if you do eat a lot, work out too. I am happy to work out, I am happy to eat all the food, and I want you guys to stick around for the next half of the video. We are here at the Kim Chi Wan restaurant, right next to Adela's, and we're gonna eat some Korean food. It's good here, my family and I have eaten here many times, and let's go check it out. Oh, it is busy. Ooh, how's it going, how's it going? Chihu. Oh, we're gonna eat up right here. You can get any two items just for $12.99 if you come from 9 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Monday to Friday. This is the chicken katsu and fried mandu right here. And this looks promising, wow. The meat jun and sliced kalbi. All for me and none for you. But you can come here and grab some food if you want though. Let's eat up. So tasty, juicy, chewy, flavorful, and it is grilled perfectly. I really enjoy this kalbi. This is good all on its own. Now I wanna try some of this meat jun. This is pretty good. Everything is tender, juicy, and I just like how hot the batter is on the outside, and it's so good. Look at the detail, the mandu. The thing I had a hard time, it is basically fried dumpling. So good. That mandu is crispy. It is well, quite oily too, but I like it. I like to indulge in sweets or oily food. <laughs> it's tasty and the dumpling is quite meaty too. Oh God. Ooh. And here for the chicken katsu. Mmm. 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 Okay, that was the best chicken katsu 
I've had in my whole existence on this earth. That is freaking crispy, tasty, soft, right amount of chicken that's inside, everything, it, it's perfect. Mm. It's totally worth it. Price is good, good Korean food, and tell them that I sent you. I'll see you guys in the next place. Now we're about to arrive at the Pully Lookout. We've done a video on this before, but uh, it's always good to see things from a different perspective and see it after a couple of years. So let's check it out, see if anything has changed, and let's adventure. If you're a Hawaii resident or military, you park for free. Show your attendant your ID and wow, things have changed. You can pay online now with a QR code. Oh, that was different from a couple years ago. Credit card only. Boom, $7. Contactless payment. It is windy. But this may be the windiest place in all of Oahu. Pali Lookout is a scenic spot with amazing views on Oahu with a lot of history here. King Kamehameha in 1795 had battled other warriors from different islands and he won and he united all the Hawaiian islands together. Pali means cliff in Hawaiian. Many warriors were pushed over the edge of the Pali. So here's the parking lot. The gates close at 4 p.m. So make sure you're out before then. The Likeke Falls hike starts right here. And it takes approximately 20 minutes to get there. It's a very easy hike. A lot of families come here. And let's go check it out. And I think we have a friend over here, this dog. Here we go, here we go. Within about three minutes, you see this big barrel here with graffiti. As you face here to the entrance, you hook a left right here. It's a small little incline, but like I said, it's a fairly easy hike. First of all, it's only one pass, so it's hard to get lost, but there are a lot of people on this hike, so you can ask someone while well, you're on the hike where to go. 15 to 20 minutes later, we are here. I also like to keep it real with our viewers. It's quite small. And there's many other better waterfalls out there, but hey, it's a nice hike, it's kid friendly, and check it out. I'm gonna make sure that my $10 is worth it when I park here. So as I showed you earlier, the Likeke Falls hike starts here. There's my car and the old Pully Road hike starts right here. Hike takes around 30, 40 minutes to get to the top. I'll show you guys a secret area, okay? Remember that, let's go. It's quite easy. I mean, it takes 30, 40 minutes to get to the top. Everything is paid, so you don't have to worry about uh, going through bushes or rocks or climbing. 20 minutes in and we are under, right here at the Pully Road. Sweetie. Nice art here. You see the roads right down here. Remember I told you guys I was gonna show you a secret area. You see it right here with the graffiti? And it's right here. We are headed to the Twin Pully Falls. Seven minute short hike in and this is it. I thought there would be water because it was raining yesterday, but uh, I guess not. Well, it's supposed to come down here and come down here. No falls today, but still beautiful. A couple more minutes and it'll be the end where you see the gate that's closed off to the Pully Lookout. The old Pully Road, Pully Lookout, and Likeke Falls are all connected. And that's it, so we're gonna head back down and go to the next place. 
Some foods are so special, we never forget the first taste. Adela's Country Eatery is not only a local's favorite, it's a must. And their cheesecakes are to die for. Mm. Mm. And there's a lot of nice, juicy fatness all in this pork belly. It doesn't get any better than this. Adela's is the only place in Hawaii that uses fresh ingredients in their original Hawaii noodles. This is the Moringa, Kalam we call it Kalamungai. We actually take it one by one, like this. We dehydrate it and then uh, crumble it by hand and mix it with the noodle flour. And you have to try one of their cheesecakes. So when people ask me where to eat in Kanyohe, I have to say Adela's. And not to mention, Adela's was ranked number five by Yelp. Adela's is right near where Fresh Catch is. I think Yelp ranked them number five in the whole America. Right. Right. Best taste. Oh, They're really one. good. That so, is how you call it? Uh, Adela's. Adela's. Yeah, I, I got a video on that too right. from a while ago. <laughs> Kanyohe Sandbar is the Maldives of Oahu. Imagine crystal clear waters, white sand beaches, and stunning views. It's a sandbar in the middle of the ocean. So we're in the middle of the ocean right now, and we are about to be headed right into the sand. Well, I slave and take her wherever she wants to go. People like to come here for kayaking and snorkeling. Many locals have a boat, so they come here to party up with drinks and loud music. We were lucky and had the place to ourselves. We launched from the Heia State Park. And we're gonna gain access to the Kanyoe Sandbar this way. They have kayak rentals from $75. It takes 30 minutes to one hour to get to the sandbar. You have to return the kayak before 4 p.m. Here at the Friendship Garden. Let's go. One of the easy, nice, friendly family hikes. The Friendship Garden is a non-touristy, easy and short hike. Parking is extremely limited. It's located in a quiet residential neighborhood. It's less than one mile if you stop at the first view with a bench. Woo Here with this view at Friendship Garden. This bench. And voila. You see gorgeous views of Kanyohe Bay. Most people stop here at this bench view. But we continued uphill and did the long route. We passed by the electricity sign and had the entire Kanyohe view to ourselves. Here we are at Kinwa Chop Suey in Kanyohe. I grew up eating here. I love the Chinese food. And Dirty Old One says, bro, we live in Kanyohe. Does Kinwa mean anything to you? My parents then took me here and I'm gonna take you guys here too. So let's go check it out. Along with the Gaoji, Egg Fu Young is my favorite. Their egg foo young is fluffy and filled with vegetables, and I love their crispy gaoji. This is deep fried, hot, and it has the dumpling right inside. So meaty, crisp, fried, and my favorite word, indulging. They also have special plates here with a bit of everything. I got special plate B as a bravo. Cayuque, spare ribs, beef broccoli, fried shrimp, crispy gauji, and rice. I like eating the fat part. Look at that. <laughs> this is my go-to place for convenience. Not like mind-blowing Chinese food, but there's one dish I get over and over again. For 15 years, I came over here just to get the Chinese chicken salad. And I'm gonna show you that shortly. For the final stop, Welcome to Hawaii's most beautiful botanical garden. I'm about to enter the Ho'omalehia Botanical Gardens and the gentleman over there is gonna check me in. It doesn't cost anything to come here and they just wanna see how much people are here and they take your license plate just to uh, good security purposes. You guys stuck around to the very end so I wanna show you my favorite place on the planet. All right guys, we are here at the visitor center and this is the parking lot. It's the first place you stop off at. You can come down and eat here. 
They have quite a bit of benches. They have a quote that's been on here for over 10 years. And it says, an hour in the garden puts problems in perspectives. Now we're heading down to the lake. While there's not a lot of flowers here, instead you get amazing views of the lake and mountains. Continue your drive to Kuhua Kuoi. The first location offers a secluded view of the lake. So I'm just chilling and looking at the pond right now and I'm gonna eat some of these walnuts from the family that I met at the Kualoa Beach Park who has them nuts. Uh, it's pretty darn good. I already ate two packages and I thought I'd eat some here while I'm relaxing. Mm. Now I'm taking you guys up the hill. Now most people that come here, they don't really make it past at the halfway mark. I'm gonna take you a little bit past the halfway mark and all the way to the end. Lonani Malka. And we go up here to get a very good view of all the gardens. It's very steep to walk uphill, but shortly you see another perspective of the majestic mountain range. That's the second location. Now, the third location I'll show you is a little bit more in the back. For the best views, drive all the way to the end of the road. And here we are at the end. So right here is the best part in all of the gardens. I remember when I had my KJ's fried chicken and I sat with the bench purposely with the Kuala Mountains in the background over there. And a lot of people ask, where are you eating? So I'm letting you guys know right now, this is where it is. That is super crispy. You guys are used to this already. Aloha, I'm Sean Polypony. And in this video, yeah, that's what I do here. So I had to show you guys the Chinese chicken salad because I've gotten that for years from Kinwa. I've ordered this many times for over a decade at Kinwa and it's pretty good. So that's it guys. I want to say a big mahalo for letting me take you around the city I grew up in. If there's anything I missed, let me know in the comment section down below. For the next video, I'm going to take you around Kailua and Waimanalo and show you the things to do and eat over there. Have fun, eat up, support local, and I'll see you guys later. Aloha. This is what we do on rainy days in Hawaii. We glow putt. Oh, uh, never mind.